Hi, uh, so this is a video showing off um, a newly rooted Nook Tablet 8 gig. So I bought um, a Nook Tablet, the new uh, 8 gig version of, the, of a uh, Nook Tablet uh, a couple days ago, and I realized that um, there hasn't been a, a complete uh, root, rooting instructions or uh, videos or anything online. So I decided to uh, spend a couple days and um, use Box's uh, micro SD hack to um, root my tablet, and um, and so here's a video showing uh, the process. So uh, the exact instructions can be found um, below this video, but in essence, you uh, format your SD card, create a 50 gig, uh, a 50 megabyte partition, and put my files um, on the root of the, that partition, and plug it in and reboot. So here I've made uh, a micro SD card ready, and as you can see on this screen, this is the 8 gig version of the Nook tablet. So I'm going to start uh, and uh, turn. Oops. Turn this thing off. There we go. And open the back and put in the micro SD card in. Back and power up. Okay, so it's going to stay on the, on the first screen with a little uh, paper box for a while. Okay, so um, on the second screen, um, you will not actually see anything change for a while. Um, it's actually copying over uh, files from the SD card into the, the system partition of the Nook tablet. Um, there won't, won't be any indication that it's finished the process, so I would recommend uh, at least a minute or two uh, before um, you proceed to uh, reboot the tablet. So. Uh, until well, so we wait, and uh, after at the end of say probably a minute or so, um, we'll reboot. We'll turn off the tablet and take out the SD card. Right, say so in my case, since I've already rooted, there really isn't much um, harm I can do anymore. So I'm gonna turn this thing off. All right. And of course, we have to take out the SD card so it doesn't boot into this again. And now I can turn it back on. So it's as simple as that. Um, so my root um, script will actually install not only uh, root but also uh, Google Apps. So in particular, this is going to install the Android Market. Um, so the Android market seems to be fully functional. I'm able to install apps and, um, and delete them and search for apps, so it's pretty nice. Um, it, it's not entirely stable and not all apps work, and particularly um, terminal uh, applications do not seem to work. I've tried a bunch of them and none of them so far has, um, has worked, which is really annoying. But in this case, I've installed a Go Launcher EX, so it, it, it boots to that. And um, as you can see, uh, you know, I've, I've installed a number of uh, applications from the um, Google Market, uh, Android Market. So, for instance, my uh, the Gmail application. Um, for instance, Google Talk. And uh, so here's Super User. Um, also, you, of course, you can see all the apps from uh, the Nook store. But also here, for instance, I've installed the Amazon Kindle from uh, from Google Market, and it actually works pretty well, which is kind of funny. Um, so there's that. Uh, I've also in this in this case, I've also installed Homecatcher, which you can find on the sdxdevelopers.com, which is really nice because now um, I can press home and actually go to uh, Go Launcher EX rather than the default launcher, which will not give you access to all your apps. The default launcher, of course, will only show you the apps that you've installed through the Nook store. 
All right. So, uh, yeah, oh, of course, the Android market itself. Thank you. There we go. Um, actually, works pretty well. Um, you can look for apps, install apps. Um, doesn't seem to be, in particular, um, in particular, like different from anything else. Um, so, okay. Okay. All right. So as you can see, I just installed a uh, Doodle Jump. And of course, I owned from a previous uh, Android device. And there we go. All right, so uh, have fun. <laughs>